Good morning from the Perkins house. It's 7 a.m. on Saturday. I'm the only one awake. Well, besides my wife who left for work like two hours ago. She's a nurse. The kids are all asleep and it got cold last night. It's almost time. It's getting cold pretty soon. Like below freezing, there's frost on the ground. And this means it's time to break out a new toy that I have. It's a thermal imaging camera that uses infrared so that I can basically see heat loss, like where heat is coming through the building envelope of my house. This is a foreclosure that I bought like five years ago that I live in. And so I didn't build it. I have no idea really how good the insulation is. We're gonna charge this bad boy up for a minute. And uh, just so you know, this was about 250 bucks on Amazon, which if you look at other infrared um, cameras is a great deal. Most of them are 500 and more and probably don't have as good a screen as your phone has on it, which this plugs into your phone. So I'll let you know what I think. Comes with a case too, that's nice. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's more than just frost. <laughs> that's ice, wow. Well, here's one pretty crazy thing I can tell you already. Look close right here. You can actually see the studs. It's not frozen on the studs. So they actually make sheathing now that has rigid foam board attached to the back of it to prevent that type of thermal transfer through your walls, which I'm gonna say would be a good thing after seeing that. Checking out my roof, it all looks evenly frosty, which that's a good sign. It means that the insulation is working if the roof is all frozen. That's good, but I know my insulation is at the ceiling level, so I'm gonna climb up in the attic and just check that out too. Frozen Ford. <laughs> Glad I'm not going anywhere. And there's my coffee. I set it here five minutes ago. And if you want to see some thermal bridging, transfer of heat from a warm area, this was warm, to a cold area, there it is. Yes. Let's start right here. And this is just the regular camera. Let's flip over to infrared mode. Well, no shocker here, <laughs> heat loss through the windows. And I can see also above the window, over here where the header is. And here's kind of a weird thing. The major other heat loss area is, of course, studs, I can see those. But the floor system down here, at the very bottom, they must not have insulated that band very well. So I may be able to get up in the um, drop ceiling and check that out. Now I'm on the front side of the house and let's see if we can find anything over here that's interesting. These are the major culprit. These are the side lights of my door. They're a huge heat loss. Let's walk down this wall here. We can see studs very clearly. Okay, right here. This is a really good one. It's what we're doing at 120 Main Street. Look at the heat loss through this outside receptacle, big time. So that shows me they didn't do anything extra to make sure that these were air sealed and uh, hot air is just getting out of my house. So that's a bummer. Over here by the front door as well, major heat loss uh, at the floor system again. Okay, this is really interesting and it may not seem like it at first. Uh, let me switch modes here. Um, okay, you can see it better there. So these three vertical lines are the three wall partitions where I have interior walls running perpendicular to this outside wall. And you can see how they're not insulated basically. Those are, cause I know my house, I know that's uh, two closet walls and my master bedroom wall. And that's a pretty big heat loss. So that's interesting, um, pretty cool. Okay, now here's a look at the whole house. <laughs> And you can see where the sun is hitting. That's the bright dots. You can also see the windows and uh, you can see where the roof is still shaded. I'll flip over and you can actually see that there's still ice on all the shady spots. So the sun is a major helper. Here's that same perspective with our regular camera. You can see the sun hitting and surprise, surprise, frost melting. I'm inside now and I finally figured out how to adjust. Look at that. Ooh, now it lines up perfect. Sorry about that. Okay, right along the joint of the ceiling and the wall everywhere. Ooh, 
and my whole chimney flue looks very cold. That's probably not insulated at all to the outside. Here's my attic access, and I'm sure this is terrible. Let's take a look. So you can see the purple and reds, that's all cold. This is not insulated on top because it has a ladder, so I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. Excuse my junk up here. So there's a lot of it. <laughs> but I'm glad there's space up here. So you can see I've got blown in insulation. That was the vaulted part of the living room ceiling. And this part though, it's probably not insulated even up to code because it's just plywood on top of the ceiling joists. So my guess is there's like six inches of insulation here. Let's take a stroll through the attic. This is a radon reduction system here, the really hot part. And uh, there's all kinds of hot spots in the floor I'm seeing walking on the plywood. There's one, there's one. I don't know what's directly below that. On this plywood section, you can literally see every single ceiling joist <laughs> in the house below. And um, that means there's no insulation above the ceiling joist. So that's that's a lot of energy going out there and this is cool these are the recessed lights that i have in the kitchen you can see that and let me flip over to standard mode here that's what i'm looking at a bunch of insulation but there's a lot of heat coming through where those can lights are there's a couple more back in there and that's probably 20 inches deep insulation and uh where those can lights are still a lot of heat and it's led bulbs in those so those aren't hot they're just a void here's where the chimney comes through uh, we saw that in the living room how cold the chase was and i'm going to flip over and see what's going on here i see a lot of heat getting out the top of that chase there's no insulation over the top of the box so that's where the cold air is coming from in my living room. <laughs> and that chimney, you know, just runs out the roof. It's got a damper, but that can also let a lot of cold air in. If you don't close the damper, that's important. This is done correctly here. You can see the baffles that keep the insulation from pressing tight to the bottom of the sheathing. That's so that air can actually flow up. This is a vented soffit and a vented ridge. Uh, they don't do venting if you do spray foam. Usually it's on the bottom of the roof deck and no vent. So this would be heated space in that case. Well, I'm freezing, so I'm gonna scamper on down this ladder back to the heat. Takeaways from this, this could be done better. I, I plan to try to do better. I did not build this house. This was someone else. And, um, but on our projects, I want to do better than that because there's definitely hundred percent, there's energy loss that could be prevented here and just basically going to lose energy this winter, uh, just blowing heat through the walls. I have propane heat, um, which works great, but it's not super cheap either. So I hope we can all learn something, try to do a better job. That's what this channel is about learning new things and trying to do better. Uh, we're not trying to be perfect. Uh, or act like we know everything, but we're just trying to do better. I hope you are too. Have a great one. See ya. These jokers. Are you guys awake? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where are you? What? How long have you been down here? Only a few minutes. Right. I've been up for like an hour and I haven't seen you. Well, it's because we have been in bed, but now it's... Video games every time. <laughs> Who are you today, sir? You're a Minecraft guy? <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yeah, I love you. And you're playing Minecraft. What about that? <laughs> Trying to hide from me. Hey, buddy. Good morning, Sonny. What's happening? Good boy. Just me, friend. No need to be alarmed. Do some jump jacks.